bring in Yahoo Finance's Alexis Keenan. Uh, Alexis, you had some numbers here, a 335% jump. That is a huge bump. Well, Square's mobile payments platform Cash App is reporting a surge in users reporting fraud and scams as it sees a huge bump in downloads during this pandemic. Let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Alexis Keenan. Uh, Alexis, you had some numbers here, a 335 percent jump. That is a huge bump. It is, and I'll make one tweak there, Akiko. This is from a mobile intelligence firm called Aptopia, and they track user reviews and apps in general, and that is their number and not specifically cash apps number that's going out there. But with the pandemic, uh, there's been really a rapid adoption of these mobile payment apps. These are apps like not only Cash App, but also PayPal, PayPal's Venmo, uh, Google's Pay, and also Zelle. Though in particular, Cash App is really seeing extraordinary growth growth and they are owned by Square. Now, Cash App goes really beyond peer-to-peer -peer transactions, so it's a bit different than some of these other apps. Its customers can also use it to take things like direct deposits for paychecks and even stimulus funds. It also has its own debit card, and it also allows users to purchase stocks and recently Bitcoin. Now, of course, with that flexibility and with the rise in use, uh, also comes this rise in reported fraud with some reporters, uh, some users rather, reporting that they've lost every single penny that they held in these accounts. And particularly, they are cash app linked accounts. So users can link their bank accounts. They can also hold uh, cold cash in their accounts. And the methods that these hackers are using are varied. They're different for a lot of these users. Some of the hackers convert the account holdings into stock or Bitcoin and then send it out to a Bitcoin wallet, never to be seen again. Others process fake refunds in order to trick users. But the chief complaint coming from these cash app users is that they really have no recourse to recover their stolen money. They they say that there's no human readily available to talk to in their customer service department. And also they say that uh, there's no really insurance like they would have at a bank to protect these fraudulent tran transfers. So I just want to show you quickly uh, some of Aptopia's additional data to compare Cash App to some of its peers, although Cash App notes that they're not necessarily peers because there are differences in these different apps. So if you look at Cash App, the mentions of fraud or scam in these app reviews jumped 335% for Cash App, that compares to 191% for PayPal and 84% for Venmo. Zelle actually saw a decline of 9%, and that's looking at numbers from this February compared to February of 2020. Now, Cash App did respond to these users' security concerns. They said this, we continue to invest in and bolster fraud-fighting resources by both increasing staffing and adopting new technology. We are consistently, constantly improving systems and controls to help prevent, detect, and report activity, uh, bad activity on the platform that is. Uh, so they are responding, although this is a rising concern for these app users, certainly something that uh, those who use them should look out for their money and check in on it often. All right, Alexis Keenan bringing us the latest there on that front. Appreciate that.